Her boss. But is there anyone above her? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. <laughs> that's, that's your boss. But what do you think about that? What do you think about telling me she'll call the police on me? I don't know. Because I have bags with me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I know you're here and I understand nothing. Okay. One second. Well, nothing can do about that. We'll go to corporate. So she says, at first, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one like that that works here. I show her the video, and then her story changes to like, oh, that's my boss. Okay? Now, they have a bunch of power outlets in here. They got it all the way, like, the, uh, the bar you sit at. They got power outlets at each station. Got a bunch of the chairs have power outlets. And I've seen other people here with their laptops for, and I've considered bringing mine. But that ain't going to work with the other bitch. So I'm going to have to go to, we're going to have to like start a hashtag campaign, hashtag Taco Bell. Um, you got all the things, all the things. And by the way, none of them speak acceptable English. Okay. But we, we got enough from our recording that she said, hey, another customer said something. Now, it could have been one of my pedophile stalkers. The Trouble Game Mafia is strong. They've recruited a bunch of locals, and these are QAnon people that think they gain psychic powers by killing and eating children. Okay? And they bully me constantly. They drive by me all the time, call me a faggot. And they act like they're against it, but in secret, just like the Dason Fitzpatrick dude, they're like, what does adrenochrome taste like? I want some too. But for her to tell me that a customer complained about me looking poor, and her to get at me, that ain't gonna fly, nigga. Me having a backpack doesn't disqualify me from going to Taco Bell. I'm being treated less than other people. Okay. I got my own problem with wetbacks. If you take Aztecs that believe that sacrificing humans is a good thing and Spanish conquistadors that either slaughter and kill with impunity and fling diseased corpses over the walls of cities to infect the natives or the, that's the leaders, the, the Spanish uh, crowd and then the, the lowers are riffraff that got thrown out of Spain. They're like, look, we'll either kill you or you can get on a ship and risk your life, go across the sea. Those are the two people that combine to make Mexicans. And not just Mexican, all of Latino countries. Um, there's varies. There's, there's different tri Aztecs are right here in Mexico. Um, but the reality is, it's a bad people breeding with the bad people, and they're mean as fuck. Okay. And the religion they settled on is the Catholicism, which is one of the wickedest ones, but it's also the whitest one. <laughs> um. But you, people just assuming that, you know, everyone's a good person. Well, no, most humans are assholes. And if you take the human sacrificial Aztecs and combine them with thieves and pickpockets and vagabonds that were kicked out of Spain for being fuck-ups, you get a Mexican. <laughs> and I don't like them treating me like I am less than them. Because no one knows what I am. What are you going to say? The only thing is, is classism. Or maybe racism, if they don't like me because I'm white. And I think I, if I'd been brown, it would have been a different story. Um, but when they try to attack us, they come here and attack us, that's no good. That's, you, you can't fucking do that. I'm fine with you until you fuck up and attack me. I was busy. I was watching something on my phone. I want to hear from you. Fuck off. 